is my soul song. This is my soul song. everybody, Kevlin Janae here. So I just wanted to do a little video about what's been going on. Like I started a new job a couple weeks ago, um, but I have been going through so much with um, the shared parenting. Um, as many of you all know, I'm divorced and um, I'm in a current relationship, um, but I still have to co-parent um, and it is not easy when you're dealing with someone that is broken, someone that is hurt still. And I don't even think it's necessarily from our relationship. Often relationship is from the past and he can't get past it. I'm not trying to make nobody feel bad. Uh, I'm not trying to make him look bad or anything, nor am I trying to air out dirty laundry for him or for me, but it is a challenge especially when this person tries to come after the current person that you're with that's the problem for me and i hate it um it has been such a struggle to try to keep my composure to try to be um you know christ-like but it's like it's like all the christ and the christian in me wants to go out the window uh, when dealing with this individual, because the individual is manipulative um, and um, has issues of control, want to be in control of every situation. So it's like I still have to kind of play along and, you know, sometimes and not feed into it. You know, everybody be like, don't feed into it. You know, he's going to know that you're angry and stuff like that. But sometimes you get tired of that. When can I be the child? I've been the adult for 12 years, almost 12 years, and I'm tired of being the adult. I'm tired of being the one that always has to so-called give in, bite my tongue, even though this person used to flat out just cuss me out all the time, you know? And I'm just tired. I am very tired. And like I said, it's one thing to come from me, but when you come from my man, like somebody that's totally innocent, that has nothing to do with you and with me and our children, that's a problem. And I just, you know, I prayed about it, you know, and, you know, there's really not much that I can do. And I'm not going to divulge all of the situation, but it's just a bad situation. I mean, everything's okay now, but it kind of puts a damper on the current relationship I, I'm in, you know? I know he has thoughts like, okay, am I gonna have to continue to deal with this? Like, uh, you know, do I want to be with her? Like that much, like that I have to deal with this drama? I mean, this drama is not only just for now, it's drama that could affect people's future. Um, when I say coming after, um, and it's just ridiculous. It's like, when can I be a loose cannon? But I can't be a loose cannon. I have to be the adult because I have the children involved and it's just so tiring and frustrating. You know, you know, saying, say, you'll pray, keep praying. Yes, I've been praying, but we don't talk about the emotions behind what you're going through. Yes, I know that I'm gonna come out victorious because I love God. However, the emotions behind the hurt that is being caused. Like I'm not supposed to experience hurt. Like I'm not supposed to cry or I'm not supposed to be frustrated and upset. That's why I have a problem. And people don't talk about that. People don't talk about, you know, being hurt or, or, or crying and frustrated. Yes, I have faith that God is gonna fix this situation and that I've done everything that I can do and I've done the right thing. I didn't lose my composure. Um, however, the emotions like that I've experienced, you know, and women, you know, we have a little more going on, like, you know, the PMS stuff. So it's like my emotions are heightened. I know the other day I barely wanted to talk to anybody because I was just so hurt by um, what he did. And 
um, you know, the kids, you know, I know they felt it too. Like, what's going on with mommy? Like, I just, it, you know, then I have to put on a face, you know, when they talk about him, you know, and it's cool. You know, I don't have really no ill will towards him. But, you know, they talk, well, yeah, daddy do this or daddy do that. And daddy, you know, I have to smile. Oh, okay. So, yeah, sometimes you don't want to hear. You're just going to have to deal with it. I've dealt with it for 10 years. And I'm tired of still dealing with it. You know, it's like at some point, when are you going to get over yourself? Um, get the help that you need to heal. Now, if there's one thing he's going to, if you're going to counseling or whatever, and you're really trying, but well, there's no trying. You're just outright doing hurtful things to intentionally hurt me and um, my man. And I have a problem with that. And, you know, I know what the church says. You know, sometimes I just feel like, um, the church wants to keep things quiet. They don't want to talk about the emotional issues that you have. You know, um, somebody told me one time I would have waited um, to share that testimony. It was while I was going through my divorce and nobody knew I was going through divorce at the time. And I would have waited to share that testimony. Why wait? Talk about it now. We need to talk about it. Talk about what's happening. Talk about what's happening now. How you're feeling. How you're crying. How you're hurt. You know, and I just, I just, you know, I, I don't know. I just get tired of, you know, hearing the same thing. And everybody has an opinion. Everybody want to share things, you know. And I'm like, well, you know what? Are you in this situation? Have you been in this situation? I mean, 70% of the time, nobody's been through, nobody's ever walked your shoes. So truly nobody truly knows what you're going through. There may be a situation that's similar, but it's not the same. And I've dealt with this individual for 10 years. You are on the outside looking in. Um, you really don't know much except for what I tell you or what he's told you or what you've heard. And, you know, and it's just, that gets on my nerve too, a bunch of opinions, you know, and I'm not saying that they're not, they're not trying to help. And, you know, it's always people trying to help. And I get that. But sometimes when you're going through stuff like this, just be there to support, love that person. Sometimes some things are needed to be said, but they I'm there for you. It's going to be okay. Sometimes I don't even want to hear it's going to be okay. Can you just listen and be quiet? That's the type of person I am. I don't want to hear it's going to be okay. Sometimes just nothing. Just don't say anything. You're going to get through this. That's good. You're going to get through this because I know I'm going to get through. Um, but it's just so many things um, that you're dealing with. You know, I am trying to, I got to make sure my kids are maintained, fed, cared for, their well-being, spiritual well-being, school, they're in school, going in the school building, doing a plague. Um, then, you know, I'm working full time and I work outside. I, I do do hair on the side and makeup on the side. Then I'm trying to maintain, you know, my blog, trying to work on music. And then I have to deal with this. Everybody has their thorn in the, in the flesh. And I'm not saying that my problem is any more harder than anybody else's. But it's just that, you know, I really give kudos. I really give kudos to um, parents that can share parent and get along. Come on, get it out, Kevlin. And that are mature about the situation got to even do stuff together to um, make the child feel um, like it's a family, even though it's a blended family. Um, <clears throat> I really give kudos, and I hope that one day I can get to this point. But right now, I'm, I'm just glad I know God, because this is the kind of stuff that make people snap and kill people, okay? I'm now, I am not saying that I want to kill kill anybody okay i just want people to know that kevlin has i want people to say kevlin has lost her mind no but some of the stuff that's transpiring makes you want to hurt somebody 
And I'm just glad that, like I said, I know God. And even knowing God, you still have thoughts and you still have to deal with those thoughts. And like I said, it's, it's like, I have to be the same one. And it's just so frustrating. But um, I just want to end it on a good note. I'm thankful for God, thankful for the Holy Spirit. I'm thankful for my boys. I love them so much. Thankful for my parents, my leadership, and my church. I'm thankful, well, um, most of all, for my man, Malik, who is patient, loving, sweet, kind. Um, you know, and sticking by my side, because like I told him, I told him, I said, you, you have a choice. You don't have to stay in this, you know. I, while I want him to stay with me, I can't be selfish and say, you know, you need to stay with me, you know, you know, because if it was me in his shoes, I would be having thoughts. I would have second thoughts like, do I want this? But I really appreciate him. And that's pretty much all I have to say today. Next week, I'll probably be talking about it some more or something else. But I hope you all have a good day. It's Wednesday. It's almost the end of the work week for some. Um, but have a blessed day. This is my soul song. This is my soul.